Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. So today I'm coming to you from a new little area in my room. This is a new little nook that I created. I don't know if you guys remember, but this used to be like my little office space, but I'm actually hot right now because there's no ventilation like inside this closet, like no AC comes in here. And then on top of it, it was a pretty tight space. So I tend to like not like super tight spaces for times that I'm gonna sit somewhere for a very long time. That's why the floor plan of my house is like super open. If you guys have not seen like the house tour, I'll link it. But yes, it was so important for me to have a super open floor plan because I honestly get anxiety in really small spaces. So I would be able to edit in here for hours. <laughs> I think I just didn't really have like um, the space set up in my house where I wanted the office so I kind of just wanted something temporary. I decided to give this little nook a makeover. I decided to turn this into like a little dressing room slash place to store like robes and lingerie and I still haven't gotten the lingerie chest in the mail so what you guys are going to see is just what I have so far. I'll definitely have to update you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for this. So also I wanted to apologize for not uploading on Sunday because this video is going up like a day or two late and That's because I got back from my vacation with a million things to do and then on top of it You do marketing. I don't know if you guys know that I had taken on a new marketing uh, project and um, everything was just kind of like hectic for the last couple of weeks and so I really do apologize for that I'm super picky about my uploading days like I really always want to have a video up every Wednesday and every Sunday um, because I feel like it tells you guys when to come back and stuff so I do apologize for not posting but I will always update you guys like on Instagram and on my feed here on YouTube whenever a video is gonna go up late a million things I could tell you guys I have so many updates but I'm going to save that for a chit chat get ready with me I have some like cool things that I gotta tell you guys but also some not so positive things I gotta tell you guys because that's life is what makes me ultimately genuinely happy so I'm so excited to show you guys the process of how I did this room I get to the gym right now so I'm gonna stop talking let's get into it okay guys so here is the paint that I got um, the lighter pink I chose baby blush and for the darker pink I chose sweetie pie these are like really close like tones of pinks for these stripes i could have gone a little darker on this one but i didn't want to i wanted it like just a little lighter than this like hot pink i guess i wanted it to still be kind of a blush tone but like dark enough to like see a difference between the stripes so i got a ruler some trays and what i'm going to do i'm going to measure out like where the stripes will be so it'll be like a light stripe uh a darker stripe etc and I'm just going to estimate paint with the light color first the reason why you want to do the light color first is because you are going to have to paint over some of the light with the darker pink so if you do it the other way around it will be harder to cover a darker pink with a lighter pink it's easier to cover the lighter pink with the darker pink I hope I'm making sense I know it sounds like gibberish, but you guys will see. I'm using my ring light over here to kind of light me up. I went ahead and taped the entire corner of the wall. I have like a straight line here, and I hung the tape on a nail that I actually had like a painting on. Also, you guys, look at this. I found this at Hobby Lobby, and it's gonna be perfect in here because this is gonna be like a very glamorous little like dressing room. That's the whole idea behind this. And I'm noticing it might be a little too bright there. I'm so sorry, that was so bright like the whole time. But yeah, so we just taped the wall here. I'm gonna tape this side and then probably the baseboard. And we're gonna get to painting. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, 
so we got all the light pink stripes on there. <sighs> I broke a sweat. So after these dry, because we have to let them dry, then we can tape to paint the darker pink stripes. In the meantime, I want to show you guys, I got this mirror. It's so beautiful. I found this at at home for literally so inexpensive. It was like, I think maybe 50 or 60 dollars i don't really quite remember how much i paid but it was somewhere around that and it's just a length mirror that is going to go inside the new dressing room i'm considering let me move the ring light i'm considering putting my mannequin in there too and just having that be like a little victory secret themed um dressing room i even got hooks to put in there it's gonna be so cute I know you guys are going to be sad because this is not my office anymore, but the thing is that I never actually sat in here and edited as much as I thought that I would. Like I did at first, but I noticed it would make me a little claustrophobic because it's small in there. So I would just go to the living room and edit or the dining table just for a change of scenery. I guess because I work in this room so much, like I need to get out of this room when I edit. So yeah. That's why I decided to make this into a cute little dressing room. I don't know if eventually I'll put shelving in here or anything, but for now the idea is to put this mirror there, maybe like a lingerie chest, and then leave this out, or I might put this in there and this. I don't know yet. We'll see what looks good. Don't mind the mess and the cords. It's because we're painting right now, so we have quite a mess in here. But I got these hooks at At Home. They gave them to me for 50% off just because... This little oopsie, which I'm going to just paint over, and I actually want to paint these hooks gold. These actually unscrew, these right here, and so I'm going to unscrew them and spray paint them gold. The gold paint I use is by Rust-Oleum. It's like the best one because it actually looks metallic, and I'm going to hang those in there to hang like my robes or maybe tote bags. I don't know yet, but I want this to be like a cute dressing room looking thing. Um, to give my room like a boutique feel. Alright guys, so back over here we are measuring 6 inches and marking them and Bay is over here putting the tape. So we went in with the measuring tape and we just measured 6 inches all the way up and we basically drew like little, I mean they're like more like slits than dots. And we're just using the tape and connecting the dots. And that way you're not marking all over the wall, but just enough to where you know where to put the tape so that it's not crooked, so you have a solid line. With a level and measure, or make sure that these are straight afterwards. Um, and then I'm going to let Bay do the top because I'm vertically challenged. off of the tape and look how beautiful the stripes came out so I just let it dry for about a couple of hours just to make sure that the paint was completely dry I did give the darker paint two coats just so that it would cover completely because it was darker and you know the lighter paint it was you know pretty close to what's already in the closet it's just like a little bit brighter so I am so obsessed now I have to figure out where I'm gonna put this if I want to put this in there or not and then of course i got some other goodies to put in there which i will show you guys okay i'm already geeking out because i just put the mirror in there and it looks so good of course i need to take out a few things in there i'm obsessed so i don't even know if i'm going to keep this on this side or put it on this other side i just don't know you guys but i definitely do want to put like those hooks or whatever i had showing you guys probably right here next to the mirror if I keep the mirror on this side or if I move the mirror to this side I'll put those here and then move this so I'm just like uh, trying to figure out how I want to do this I'm probably gonna rearrange it you know a few times until I figure that out but I'm kind of trying to see how it looks from far away 
like this to see what I want poking through. This is what I do and I pay attention to a lot of details. So I'm going to try to put everything in there and then maybe put the mannequin last and see if I want it in there. You get like this fuzzy rug right here and I wanted to just kind of throw it in there to give it a little flare. You guys know I love having rugs and like areas. I feel like it separates like the spaces if that makes sense. I'm already so in love with this so much more than I was when this was a desk. Okay, so I have this little ottoman that I got at, I think it was Target. It was only like $60. Yeah, this was definitely Target. And they had one like this at, at home, except it was smaller and it was $130. I couldn't believe my eyeballs. But yeah, this was half of that, less than half of that at Target and it's way bigger too. Okay, so we put our little seat in there. So I think I'm kind of liking this idea. I like how the... Um, collage wall will reflect on the mirror i think that's about all i want to do the only thing i might add on is right here i might put like a small lingerie chest in this area just because i really need somewhere to store my lingerie you guys saw me spray painting the hooks earlier but this is what it looks like now it used to be silver and it looks so much prettier it's kind of what we're working with now i also hung up this mirror i never had anywhere to put it but i think if we do a little collage wall it's perfect there there was just a nail already there that's probably not the spot i'm gonna keep it in okay guys are you ready to see the final tour of this area well i do have a couple things i want to do but i actually put my mannequin in there and it looks so pretty in there i had to keep it in there so if i do get a lingerie chest it will probably go underneath this sorry it's a little bright out here but yeah we'll go underneath my nail polish rack in this space here but i am just so happy with how this turned out okay let me show you and quit teasing so as soon as you walk in i'm gonna kind of scoot back so you guys can see what it looks like from the outside as soon as you walk in i have my slippers over here in the corner and when you walk in the first thing you see is the mannequin that's if you're looking at it from this angle and then I want to show you guys what it looks like from another angle so if you look at it from this angle you look at it from this angle you can see like the mirror and like kind of what's on the other side and you get the mannequin and then I just put my favorite like Victoria's Secret slippers under it. This wall you get this mirror and I love how this mirror reflects the Victoria's Secret stripes. It's so pretty. And we get the Hobby Lobby painting that I got. I want to add one more up here. There's one with lips that I saw at Hobby Lobby that I want to put there. So I'm going to put that there and then um, down here we have this Hello Gorgeous pillow. This is also from Hobby Lobby. And then we get our little bench. The legs on it are actually gold, so it matches the whole theme of the room. I love how it looks like from the outside. It looks so pretty. The rug I found at Ross. They have a lot of these rugs at Ross, really, really cheap. So if you want a faux for rug, check Ross. We have these decorative boxes. This is just a plain white box and I tied a Victoria's Secret like ribbon around it from one of like my pajama sets from like the holidays last year. I always keep like pretty Victoria's Secret packaging which I know is so hoarder of me but eventually I find uses for them so yeah so you go up and you get the mirror and you get all of my Victoria's Secret robes that I've collected over the years. So there's nothing on top of that. It's just plain. I might add something up there, but I don't know if I will yet or if I'll just keep it like this. But I love how the mirror reflects the mannequin. So it's like I just love what the mirrors did inside of this room. It just made it look so cute. Of course, here are the hooks that I showed you guys. I haven't fixed that little hole yet. I'm actually going to fill those little holes with like um, the putty stuff that you use and just paint over them white so it matches because those holes are bothering me. But I just wanted to show you guys already because I really need to get this video up. 
So yeah, I spray painted the holes as you guys saw with Rust-Oleum. It makes it such a pretty gold. And then here you can see all of my robes. This one right here is from the fashion show when I was in New York City in 2018, I believe, yeah. And then this is my newest one. This is the one that has like the the frilly like sleeves, if you can tell. And it looks like this because I just washed it and it was sitting in the dryer. And then this is my fuzzy robe that you guys have seen a million times. It looks so cute when I tie it with a bow like this. And then these two are just regular like satin robes. And then I love how if I like move this over a little bit, it reflects the Hobby Lobby like canvas over here. I just absolutely love how this came out. This is like a dream come true. I also wanted to show you guys the wings. So what I did for the wings, at Hobby Lobby, I actually bought two sets of wings from the kids section. And I just tied them onto the mannequin, like, I tied them onto the actual, like, lingerie piece, like, the sleeves. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, that's how they're tied. Right there. And I just tied one on top and one on bottom. So it looks like that. So in the back, it looks like this because it's two sets of wings. Whenever you turn it over, it just looks like really big wings. And then I put this feather bow on the back too, just to like fill them out. But yeah, it just makes it look like some really big wings <laughs> when it's actually two little baby ones. And this lingerie piece is from Victoria's Secret from one of their collections. I don't even remember. I don't think this is available anymore, but it might be. These are pearls from an antique store. The mannequin you can find on Amazon, I'll link it. And then this little purse, I always get questions, this is from BCBG. And I found this at a random like little outlet store <laughs> at some point. In the closet, this mirror right here, I know I might get questions on. This from my, well Manny's mom, aka future mother-in-law. Um, she had a couple of these and she said I could take them. The length mirrors from at home. I think I already told you guys where everything's from. The cute little striped boxes. Those are from a Dollar General, I believe. I'll show you guys a few more um, little room decor things that I got. And then we'll end this video. Another little idea. I got this little diamond filler. You can actually find this on Amazon too. And I'm going to use it to fill this. So I know you guys see diamonds already. This size on Amazon as well. So I'll link both of them. So this is what the diamonds look like in there. I like this so much better than the pearls that I had before. I don't know if you guys remember that, but um, yeah, I think this looks so much better. I also got this little organizer for my lip liner, so I'll link this below as well. also got this adorable candle, like custom candle from a girl on instagram so i'm going to link her thing below i think i also have a coupon code so i'll overlay it here it's probably just my name or something but yeah look how adorable this is i really like to put that on my gold shelf up here because i really love love how it looks up there so of course these gold shelves are also new and these are from amazon and i got these um they were really inexpensive in my opinion but I just keep like my body sprays and like just decor type stuff and perfumes on it. I have one on this side and then you come over here. So yeah, this is the other one. So I have one on each side of my vanity. I wanted to show you guys quickly. I did get a new organizer for my girl Sharla. This is the LV one. I already had this one. And I keep all my SL Miss Glam brushes in these because it looks so cute. 
so I'm going to link her Etsy down below if you guys are interested. And then at the bottom of this one, I just have all of my lotions. Link the shelves below, you guys. These are worth every single penny because it looks so glam and beautiful. I also always get questions about this, this tray thing. This is actually from Target during Valentine's Day. So if I can find something similar on Amazon or on Target website, I will link it. And of course, we are ignoring the huge elephant in the room, which is this new mirror. So I got this from Impressions Vanity. When I saw this, I had to have it because it goes so well with my room. Charlotte actually sent this to me on Instagram, like in DMs, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that mirror. So yeah, I got it because I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it so unique I've never seen anything like this and I love how well that it goes with my room it just ties everything together I feel all right guys that's everything for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you stayed until the end leave me some Victoria's Secret inspired emojis down below because I just want to see what you guys come up with like I always use like the little bikini ones like it's actually I think it's a bathing suit but whatever to me that's Victoria's Secret inspired so yeah just find some Victoria's Secret inspired emojis leave them down below tell me what's your favorite part of the little nook that I created and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye